Alrighty guys, for this one, I figured I'd go ahead and show y'all how we pack up, especially going to the beach. And here I'm gonna have all of my fishing stuff. It's just gonna be chocked full to the brim. It's gonna have extra line, uh, extra rods, baits, lures, pretty much everything I would need. Snares, pliers, scissors, gulp baits, live bait stuff. So we got a whole bunch of fun stuff and content in this box. And then in here, it's just gonna have all of our tools. So battery charger and as well as jump starter tripod sand spike a little emergency bug out bag my toolbox lantern first aid kit and just a whole bunch of tools and accessories right there as well and then some more of my batteries and stuff like that for the fan that we're going to run car bag full of toiletries clothing uh, laptop bag camera gear all that good stuff off to the side here i'm going to have all my shoes so crocs water shoes and then obviously the ones i'm wearing we got chairs here i got my piece together surf combo a big old beach mat that emily loves to lay on some sand towels and yeah that's pretty much it for the back end and then the front we kind of tend to leave empty just you know so that way we're comfortable i'm just gonna have my hat up here sunglasses and then i'm gonna go ahead and check the tire pressure just to make sure we're okay on the road you know that's something you don't want to have to deal with when you're out there especially like having a flat or something like that always got to have some way to check your tires air them up as well as the little jump start battery i showed y'all earlier the noco pretty sweet investment i can't lie this guy right here has saved us more times than i can count and honestly it's been on like one charge uh, i do recharge it before our trip but you really don't have to it lasts so long just having some form of a jump start as well as some way to air up your tires and then checking the fluids in your vehicle before you go go make sure that everything's okay before you head out on your trip every time we go on these trips he can tell because he sees us packing up and then he'll just lay outside and refuse to move till we load him up <laughs> we do have his stuff packed up for sure it's gonna be right here always got to take some dog food water bowls all that stuff treats we got a little frisbee for the beach uh the kong toy that he loves so much and yeah as you can tell he's excited he just doesn't want to admit it he doesn't want to freak out nervous burp <laughs> uh, this is our car organizer for our back seat. It's just gonna have all of our like hand cleaning stuff, camp soap. It's pretty much everything that you would need to grab immediately. Sunscreen, lights, even got a little life straw right here and some zip ties, so just worst comes to worst. You never know. A chili pad, paper towels, fire starters, lights, Ziploc baggies just in case I need to throw a fish in the cooler. Yeah, just pretty much everything that we would need to grab hands on, directly, carabiner, all that good stuff. Alrighty, we got everything and everyone packed up, so. Now it's just time to hit the road. First stop, we're gonna go hit up Bucky's. Well, fellas, we made it to the infamous Bussies. I'm excited, man. I'm up in here like every other day, so they start to know me, but just gonna grab some road trip snacks and some ice for the cooler. They're busy as always, but the haul is getting bigger. We got tacos, dessert, jerky, all that good stuff. Can't forget those. And can't forget these. Bags secured. We got two little small bags of ice. Hoppa! Ice secured. If you're interested in everything we got, I got a quarter pound of some lemon pepper beef jerky, a quarter pound of some western peppered beef jerky, a beaver tail, a chocolate chip cookie, a blueberry scone, two iced coffees, two ice pops, some beaver nuggets, quattros, two hippo tacos, a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. We're about to throw down on all this right now, then we'll hit the road. We got about five and a half hours till we get there. It's a little bit of a drive, but it's definitely gonna be worth it. Anyways, we'll see you all on the road. Nom, 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 nom. I'm just kidding, guys, I'm sorry. This is pretty good, though. Bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Bucky's be hitting, bro, I'm telling you. All right, well, we just pulled up to this little rest area gonna find a spot to park here I love every time we visit these rest areas they always have some sort of cool like art and stuff like that involving nature typically but hey bag nice peaceful little rest area typically they're always in nature and that's like one of my favorite things especially like the more secluded the more peaceful the more quiet the better because you can just kind of come out here relax we let Bentley out and he loves it as well 
I found this massive Luna moth here at the rest stop. It's pretty big. Sweet little find in nature. And I found this little frog too, but I think that's just a Texas little bullfrog. What is up guys, gals, ladies, and gentlemen. Simon Says here back with another fishing video. Today I'm gonna to take you on a whole adventure to Galveston, mainly Crystal Beach. We're gonna be just focusing on Bolivar Peninsula, fishing the flats, and basically just seeing what we can get into. I'm really excited for this one because we're gonna be right on the beach. It's a five-star Airbnb, and it's gonna be the entire family. So me, my sweet girl Nam, and Bentley. I know you guys love him, of course. I'll be using a whole bunch of different stuff as well, different techniques, styles of fishing, and hopefully you guys enjoy this one. We're gonna be aiming for some red and black drum, trout, flounder, and basically anything that we can get our hands on. I wouldn't even be upset if I hooked a shark. Anyways, we got about an hour left on the drive. Once we make it to the Airbnb, I'll make sure to throw the GoPro on so that way y'all can get a whole tour of the house. I think it's gonna be really sweet though. We've got one minute left on our drive and we made it just in time for the sunset. I'm excited, guys. I'm gonna throw the GoPro on and give y'all a whole tour of this place. Oh, this is so cool. We're like parked underneath the house. Oh, I'm so excited. We're here. We made it. All right, let's figure out how to get into this place. We got the key situation figured out. Oh, this is so nice. Oh yeah, this is sweet. Yeah. We got bedroom number one. Pretty nice, sweet. I'm assuming this is gonna be like closet space. Yep, closet. And then bathroom that leads directly to the twin. Bam, bam. Pretty nice, sweet. Closet space, I'm sure right here as well. Then we have the dining table, kitchen, living room area. This is probably where we'll spend most of our time, just everybody hanging out, relaxing together, either at the bar or here at the living room. Full fridge, running water, laundry. Oh, it's gonna be nice. So this is the full living room area. Should give you all a different angle. And then finally, this is the master suite. Shower, bathroom. Oh yeah, let me show them the deck, yeah. Oh, and there's probably, is there a back deck as well? Yeah, well, it's just the outside, I think. Oh, okay. And then we have this whole table space. So let's go grab Bentley and go grab our bags. This is the whole downstairs area. This is so cool. You just pull in your cars under here. You can rig up and everything. And then he said that there's lights. Yeah, there's lights right there. So I'll be able to just rig up at night, have a blast. There's even a table right here you can rig up on, probably do whatever you really need to. Looks like someone was playing with some rocks and seashells that they found. Oh, this is awesome. Little Weber grill, just like we got at home. We know how to use those. And then it's got a whole garage space as well that we have access to. That's the whole garage keys, but probably won't be needing that right now. I'm really just excited. Oh, you can tell Bentley's excited too. Ben, ben. Yeah, yeah, buddy. You excited? You get that fly. That mosquito. Get it. Here. <laughs> They're swarming him. We got our bags. I'm not gonna lie, the mosquitoes are already starting to destroy me and Bentley, but <laughs> it is what it is. Gosh, man, these mosquitoes are bad. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun going up and down those steps. We're in effect, it comes with a Wii, so the owner of this place knows what's going on. That's the whole Airbnb, guys, if y'all can't tell. I'm really excited about it. Really nice little chill area right here on the patio. Definitely gonna take advantage of that at some point. Anyway, so I'm gonna get a lot of this stuff put away in the fridge here, and we'll check in with you guys once we're settled. I know we got a lot to do off camera, and it's just not something I can fit into the process, but I appreciate y'all. Y'all stay along with me. I got my Berkeley Gulp half pint right here, and I got some of my old Gulp baits right here that I'm gonna go ahead and take out and throw in here just so they kind of get some moisture back into them from last year. Mainly I'm hoping that they'll just kind of rejuice and stuff, but I don't know, we'll see how it goes. We 
got our baits all consolidated into this one container and it turned out quite nice. As you can see, we got a whole assortment of colors. We're just gonna use them in different ways, so y'all make sure to be staying tuned for that. Next up, I'm gonna get some rigs ready. As you can see, we got a Pompano rig right here, for example. I got a high-low rig right here tied up. Swivel, hook, hook number two, wait. I got that on 50 pound fluorocarbon. Pretty much all my rigs are gonna be 30 or 50 pound uh, mono or fluorocarbon. Just whatever I can get my hands on. Now it's time to give these to the boys. This is a high-low rig right there. That one's gonna be for Alex. It's got the two smaller hooks. Yeah. You can rig up whatever. And then this one's for you, Don. The big hook if you wanna rig up a mullet. And I can also make you a dropper like this if you end up wanting yeah. one of these when we get out there and Alex I can make you one of those when we get out there as well. For dinner tonight we went ahead and made a couple pepperoni pizzas alongside a big old tray of pasta and Emily whipped up a quick Caesar salad. It's pretty late but we found the downstairs light. Oh this is sweet. Yeah they have a whole outdoor shower. Be careful. Oh he's got all this grass to poop and pee in. How cool. We can rig everything up. We can do everything we want down here. We don't even have to carry a light or anything. I'm gonna grab some equipment real quick. All right, it's getting pretty late. It's about 1.06 a.m. All I got left to do is put some braid on my reel and then we should be good to go for tomorrow morning. Good morning, everybody. It is day two, and I'm excited. Gotta keep it down right now. Well, technically, it's the first day. My friends, Alex, Dara, and Don got here late last night, so you guys will get to see them on camera later, but right now, it's about seven in the morning. We got up a little bit early so we could go do some fishing. We're probably gonna go hit up a bait shop, <sighs> but I think we're pretty excited. I'm gonna go see if the house is awake yet. If not, we're just gonna do some quick breakfast and basically just get our gear ready to go fishing. I definitely think we gotta get freshened up a little bit, do something about our hair. It's kind of just like a frizzy mess, which it normally is, but anyways. I went ahead and switched clothes. I got a little bit more freshened up. As you can see, my hair is not a mess anymore, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and probably head to a bait shop this morning after we do a little bit of breakfast, and then we'll probably head to the big store just so we can get our parking pass for the beach. Once we do those two things, then we will be ready to go get on some fish. Waiting on a video to upload. The Wi-Fi here is not the best. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the trash out for everybody. This is the outside of the place. I didn't really get to show y'all because we kind of came in last night late, but it's sweet. It could really fit up a whole bunch of cars. I mean, the driveway is pretty big. Nice, big, spacious deck. Whole seating area if you want to just chill outside as a family. That's what we were doing last night. Even more seats. And then I believe in here there's probably going to be some stuff for the beach. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to have some stuff for the beach for you as well. Well, we're here at Harold's Bait and Tackle. This is the first stop we made for the Crystal Beach trip. Yeah, they got some really nice lines and deals, don't they, Don? This is Don, by the way. <laughs> I think I'm gonna grab this. Yeah. And I think Emily's getting these sunglasses. <laughs> Adorable. All right, we're gonna keep looking at some stuff, grab some baits. But we got some leader line right here. Nice quality stuff, just some suffix advanced 20 pound. 
They really got a nice assortment selection of everything. If you come to Crystal Beach and you forget your stuff, Harold's Bait and Tackle pretty much has it all. They even got Procure, which I already got some of this stuff from home, but. All right, well, we made it to the beach. The wind is probably really bad, but there's like a whole pier and a jetty that you can walk that goes all the way down. It's gonna be pretty bad. I'm gonna probably throw the wind slayer on real quick. Dang, I left my wind filters. Rip. I left my wind slayers in the Airbnb, so when we come back out here tomorrow, or maybe even later today, I'll make sure to put it on. This is my three piece little panther suit combo. And there we go. There's the whole combo, pieced together, spooled up. Now we're just gonna throw a whole rig on there and then we'll be good to go. All right, I'm gonna start out with this high-low rig and a two ounce weight. It's very windy, as you guys can see, but we're gonna make it happen for y'all. A little bit of live bait fishing, sight. We're going with some fish baits. Y'all know me, Mr. Artificial. Keeping it real. <laughs> Keeping it real. All right, for real. All right, fellas. Here we have my boy Don, my boy Alex. What's up? And we're about to do some inshore fishing. I'm gonna put them onto these fish bites right here. They've never fished with them. I think they're a little bit skeptical. We're about to see if they catch fish or not. Hopefully they work. To be honest, I've never fished with these kind of conditions. It's pretty bad out here. But whatever happens, happens. We'll see. All right. I'm just skeptical because I've only ever like used a live bait. Right. Here. So the way I rig it, the skinny end, I put through once. Mm -hmm. Once it's through, rotate it around and stick it through again. And it wants to sit just like this in there. When a fish comes through, it's going to hit it to try and get it. And that collapses down and that's how they get through. Oh, okay. My sweet girl Nevis eating a flipping mandarin. The man is just chilling. Thinberry. <laughs> All right, we got the boys all rigged up. Now I'm just getting myself rigged up. I'm not really doing the best job with the blood worm alternative for the bottom one. Thanks, brother. Yeah, black, white, and uh, pink. Yeah, pretty windy. dead mullet I guess that's what they're eating wind's starting to die down so hopefully it's a little bit better fishing but not much better all right well we came all the way down the causeway this pier is freaking sweet it goes all the way down pretty far out but I think under normal conditions this spot would produce but because it's so windy I really don't think that anything's gonna bite I've seen a lot of people fishing today but not a lot of people catch it. we might just have to head back to the Airbnb and then think about doing lunch or dinner or something Well, everybody, we tried to hit the beach. Unfortunately, it was way too windy. It had like 30 mile per hour gust winds and we really couldn't even make a cast. All right, we took a break from fishing to enjoy ourselves at our favorite spot, Pizza Forno. We're gonna pick up a couple pizzas from the vending machine and then head on back to our Airbnb. I'm excited. Artists of pizzas, 24 seven, made ready in three minutes. It's not bad. All right, what are we gonna get? Do we want pepperoni or do we want vegetarian? Uh, Pepperoni for sure. They got breakfast pizza, cheese. How about a pepperoni and a, and a cheese? Okay. Let's just do it hot. Get them hot here, or do we want to take them home and bake them? No. Let's do them hot. Let's do it. It's probably one of our favorite little spots. It's a pizza vending machine right off the road. And then three minutes that way is the beach. So 
you come get a pizza and take it straight to the beach if you want. 24 seven access too, if it's like three, 4 a.m. and you're just like faded out of your mind, you can come and get a pizza as well. I mean, we even met the owner, he's a really cool guy. Cut the pizza up here. All right, this is the first pizza. We got pepperoni and then we got the cheese pizza coming out on the way and it should be ready anytime now once this little buffering bar hits the end there. Alrighty. Oh gosh, that almost burned my hand. And there's the second pizza. Nice and crispy. That's how we like it. Yeah, I could eat this every day. Y'all know me, I'm a Ninja Turtle with this. Cheesy bread pizza. And then M went and snuck off. <laughs> and she went and got this. Mac and cheese pretzel. Yeah, so it's just gonna be added to our little stash pile of yummy goods oh. that we're gonna take home. Yeah, our little haul that we're gonna eat. All right, we're gonna get back to the Airbnb and just eat all this food. Yeah, we're just gonna figure out a game plan from there. We don't really know what we're doing. We're just playing it by ear and having a good time with it, of course. But yeah, we'll see y'all soon. Well, we got some ice cream as dessert and it made it to the house, but I'm not gonna talk anymore because this thing's gonna melt. We're gonna enjoy it with our pizza and our pretzel and mac and cheese. at this live catch and cook restaurant. Checking it out here, Don's putting me on. Hi guys. All right, we got the bag secured. Ladies and gentlemen, two seafood boils. One seafood boil, two seafood boil. Bro, this looks fire. And a whole bunch of size. Yeah, I think we're about to destroy this and then, pew. Well, the food was delicious. Everybody pretty much ate almost everything, but you gotta end the meal right. Hey, let's go. Gotta end the day with a beer. Ooh, what's up, buddy? Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. We're gonna get after him tomorrow, Don. And then eventually Papa. Thank you. Yes, sir. Alright, guys. It is currently 6 a.m. We got up way earlier than we have been. So hopefully we can get on some fish. The weather says that it is not windy right now from 6, 7 to 8 a.m. So we got a couple hour fishing window. Hopefully we can get on some fish. Got all my GoPro gear ready, got the camera gear ready. Now I just gotta wake up the boys and see if they wanna get on some fish. I'm gonna grab my camera gear and my fishing gear. I'm gonna take everything to the Jeep and then we're just gonna head straight to the pier where we were yesterday. We saw a whole like live bait camp. So we're gonna go ahead and grab us some stuff. Good morning, buddy. <laughs> uh. All right, guys, I am going to bring my GoPro Wind Slayer because last time I left them both. So this should definitely make the audio a little bit better. And hopefully you guys will be able to see what we're doing. <laughs> hey, good morning, man. Hey, good morning. Day three, let's get on some fish. Yeah. All right, guys, it's technically day three today. We have not gotten any fish yet, mainly because the weather has been terrible, including today, but I think we're gonna go out and we're gonna try and get on a few fish. I'm waiting on the boys to come down here. I got all my gear packed up and ready. We're just gonna go hit up that pier that we were at earlier. Well, this is what the conditions look like for day three. Obviously they don't look the best, but there's way less wind, so. All right, we're finally taking off guys. 6.45, might be a little bit later than we wanted, but we're still gonna get on some fish. The weather says it should be calm till eight and then it'll pick up at nine. Well, hopefully we'll be able to have a bit more time in between there. All right, we just got here, 7.07. Warning shark infested waters. <laughs> There's fresh dead shrimp. Live shrimp is 12 per pint. This is pretty cool. I think we were just gonna see if we could get some bait. 
Yeah. Y'all have any like fresh live bait? I have some fresh uh, dead shrimp. I have live shrimp right now. I have lots of frozen stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to do fresh shrimp? And lots of bugs, lots of mosquitoes. Oh, that's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I've got a couple of pounds of fresh dead shrimp left right now. Okay. The rest is all frozen that I have. Is there any way I could see some of the fresh live shrimp? I Not very much. We I mean, have five mud minnows too. Oh, there's some mud minnows too. Yeah, we do. So we can do a little bit of both. Yeah. All right. All right. Dang, those are some big old shrimp too. Okay. You can this whole thing, you can definitely get an assortment. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then, and these are the minnows right yeah, here now. Yeah, the minnows. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Wow. Th okay, thank you for showing me all this. Oh, sure. This is so cool. Check this out. She's got an assortment of gulp as well. Nice, there's a whole bunch of baits here. Y'all guys make sure to come check this out whenever y'all are here in town. Snacks, everything y'all need. I got um, stingray and crab and silver eels. And... Nice. So if you guys are into frozen baits, there's that as well. <laughs> Always, but you gotta love it, that's what works. Check these out, man. Yeah, they got the same one. Yeah, same one. Nice, Mustad hooks. Yeah. Really great brand. And then they got some popping corks down here. Some line, if you need it. If we don't keep it, it gets oh, monked on the head. Dude, bro, <laughs> we didn't bring the cooler, did we? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How, how much is it for all of it? Mud minnows, uh, in, in addition to uh, a pint of shrimp, is $24. Okay, sweet, let's make it happen. There's that right there. Are you all related? No, actually not. Oh. But everyone thinks that all the time. <laughs> well, you all look very young. That's it's nice to meet you. I'm Simon. Hi, Simon. I'm Megan. Pleasure. Thanks for coming to my store today. I'm, I'm so happy to be here. There we go. There's one right there. Nice little mud minnow. They're disappearing in there, aren't they? <laughs> we'll do like live minnows. And then dead shrimp. Then dead shrimp. Oh, okay. So actually, instead of the live shrimp, we'll probably go with the dead shrimp. Okay. <laughs> There's no hope for them. Over yeah. <laughs> they're going on a hook. Look at those little guys though, they're adorable. Dude, she's selling raw tips. Oh, you see this big ass hook right here? Look at this hook. Yeah, shoddy thick. Dang, that is some thick filament. Yeah. This is some shark here. To be honest with you, yeah, you clip on your weight so it yeah. slides free rig. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask, what is your channel? Oh, uh, you can just go to YouTube, and then if you type Simon Says Fishing, I'll be the first option that pops up. Okay. Yeah, you'll see my big puffy afro. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot, a, lot, a lot more bass fishing and inshore, uh, like, freshwater, but uh -huh. I'm coming out here, and I'm a little bit experienced with it as well, so I kind of want to make some videos, but... Yeah, you've got good choices for bait today. Yep, Excellent yeah. Choices. I think so, too. Any experience just coming out here, enjoying the place? And, oh, I know. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Till next time. All right, well, we got baited up. North Jetty Bait Camp. Pretty legit. Oh, that's exactly what you want to happen. Just drop my whole rod on the floor. I'm going to start out probably throwing the fish bites. Just out of curiosity to see if they bite it. Yeah, I like your shirt, man. Fish bites. Yeah, they work. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. We're gonna see. I will. Way easier to cast, bro. Way easier to cast. Feeling uh, confident today. Yeah, I think so. Y'all are rigging up some shrimp. Yeah. I think I'm gonna throw a minnow on. This uh, shrimp looks fresh, bro. You can tell. Yeah. It literally looks like it's the hard boiled shrimp that we had the other night. How do I grab one of these guys? They're squirming like crazy, bro. Okay, I got one. No! Dude, it jumped out. It jumped out. All right, let me show the camera. Oh, golly. He's jumping away. This is a mud minnow, guys. 
y'all are wondering. All right, we got this little mud minnow. I'm gonna hook him directly on the nose. Take a piece of shrimp. That's about as baited up as I can get. We got shrimp there, mud minnow up top. Alrighty, well, we've been fishing for about 30 minutes so far. No one has gotten any fish. It feels like we're kind of getting bites, but we can't really tell it's so windy out here. I hope that the wind slayer is kind of helping the GoPro audio. If not, then it is what it is. I tried, guys. But yeah, this is probably a lot better than it was last time. Bro, just caught a massive fish. What is it, a bull red? That's a red here, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Bro, damn, that's crazy. Do you have a channel or anything? Or you just fish nah, for fun? I just fish for fun. That's what's up, bro. What's your name? Man, to eat, you know what I'm saying? What's your name? Ramon. Nice to meet you, Ramon. Nice to meet you, man. Man, Ramon just got the biggest <laughs> drum I've ever seen in my life. You have a ten? Yeah, Simon Says Fishing. Simon Says Fishing? Yeah, you All check right, it out. All right, I'm gonna search you up, man. Bet, bro, nice fish. Appreciate it, man. That's crazy. What'd you catch it on? That's a big fish. He said they're not that far out. Did he mean from the pier or like down that way? Bro, that's a big fish. We're doing something wrong, man. Hey, the, you don't know how long he's been out here. That's probably why he was yelling when he was like, you, like that was that yell. Bro, that's a big fish. Dang, bro. Well, hopefully we can get into something like that, man. That was so cool. Hey, but he ain't gonna tell us what he caught it on. You think he'll tell us? I asked him, but he tried to avoid it. Nah, cause he could have told me, but he just kept going. It's all good, I respect it, bro. We'll figure it out. All right, Alex might've just caught something, bro. Is it running away from you like Nemo? Yeah. <laughs> it's running away like finding Nemo. Bro. That's bait right there. I'm, I promise you, you hook him, you're catching a fish. If you ain't hooking him, I'm hooking him. <laughs> Feel pinched? Oh, I gave him a little piece of meat and look, he's eating it now. <laughs> he's like, um... Get your little hands away. I gave you food, you scumbag. I'll crack him on his dome. Yeah, I do, but... Look! <laughs> bro. Crack him on his dome. He's grabbing it! Look at him! Ow! Let it go, let it go, let it go, bro. He's grabbing it all his life. Oh my god. Bro, this is going This crab is giving us the hardest time. Alex just found him. I don't know. How did you? How did you get him? Uh, he, I pulled up some seaweed. He was he was stuck on there. On the seaweed, dude. Now I'm gonna try and use him as bait. I don't really know where to hook this guy though, to keep it a buck. All right, I did it, Alex. I got him on there, guys. Yo, shout out to Alex for giving me this crab. Let's see if he catches anything. Hello. How y'all doing? Pretty good. Nice. You got anything? No, not yet. Just some bites though. Some bites. Some guy came through with a massive red. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's him right there. Dude, it was so big. Dude, Ramon. That was crazy. Hey, that was a good fish, That's right? the biggest red I've seen. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't seen that many, but that was huge. What, what's your channel, you say? Oh. That's me right there, G. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that. Are you good? You got, I love fishing, man. Huh? Hell yeah, bro. Hey, I that, hope you get a big one too, man. Bro, I got to figure out what she was doing. Y'all got to move down there, though, because it's, it's, it's not that deep down there. Okay. Yeah, so y'all got to move down there. Okay. Do we want to... Yeah, I was going to say, do we want to try it? Because he's... He's probably not lying to us. He's, they were down there. Like, yeah. regardless. Like, he, he can't lie about that. He didn't tell me what bait. He's not going to. He doesn't want to. And that's fine. I respect that as a fisherman. I'm not going to be offended about it or nothing. Oh, rip. It happens, bro. I've done that too many times. Bro, 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 bro. I just lost both of my baits in one go. Damn. They just ripped it off. I felt them rip it off. I'm gonna I'm fish like right here where I was because I'm getting bites. Me too. I got my rig snags, bro. Don's right, bro. There's a snag right there. <laughs> I made too many casts that side and broke off. <laughs> <laughs> it, they ripped up my shrimp though. They took everything. Yeah. And then in you. I'm gonna switch to my Pompano rig. This one broke off on me. No luck on the fish bites, man. 
No, nothing on the fish bites, bro. Like they were, they were biting it, but they didn't really want it. I think so. Oh, it's starting to rain a little bit. Alrighty, well, we had a whole bunch of bites on the live bait. We had a few on the artificial, but no luck, really. The gentleman Ramon said he caught it further out and he was recommending us to walk further on the pier. Problem is, we don't really want to leave all the gear that far away, so maybe we're just going to have to figure out a happy middle. Going to keep trying, man. Get that flag, that flag one coming through. Huh? Get that flag, huh? Get yeah. One piece. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it'd be worth it, right? You get one big one. That's what that gentleman Ramon came through. He had a big, big red. Oh, yeah, big red. It was, yeah. I don't know if y'all saw it, but it's a pretty good sized red. Hopefully, I can get one, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to keep trying. We're getting bites. We can feel them there. The weather has to calm down eventually. If it's not today, it's going to be tomorrow. We're going to stay a little bit extra tomorrow and try and catch some fish. So it started dripping a little bit. I don't know how y'all are feeling about that. Steady. Yeah, I'm out of here. To be honest, it's already starting to get there. It's starting to come there and it's going to get worse. You can see it out there. I'm down. I'm down. I'm getting hit. I have a fish. Did you see that? Don just saw that. Don just 100% saw that. Dude, I just start getting bit as the rain comes through. Is this a joke? This is actually a joke. Hey, let me help y'all grab. <laughs> Bro, I got a huge hit. Alrighty. Went still going like crazy. We came back, had ourselves a little bit of a light lunch. Now, just trying to wait out this wind. I'm about to grab some gear mainly because we broke some of the rigs that we were using. And I know that we're going to need some. I know the boys are going to need some. So. All right, we left these mud minnows. They've been chilling in here for a minute. And they're still alive. Nice. None of them are floating, which is a good sign. I think they're just probably sleeping. Oh, there's one guy swimming around. Hey, bud. All right, guys. Well, I think the whole group has decided that we're going to go down to the beach. We're going to do some shore fishing. The weather seems to be a lot better. There's not so much wind, as well as the sun is a little bit kind of shining through the clouds. So y'all ready to go do some fishing, fellas? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Y'all need any help with anything? Everything all right? Yeah. So what I like to do is this is called a San Diego jam knot. You take this, you wrap the line around it like this, so it's doubled over. Then you take this and wrap it six to seven, uh, seven times. Then you take this guy, slide him under through there, and then you take him back to that same knot that you've created up here. And that's the San Diego Jam knot. And that's probably one of the strongest knots you can ever tie. Yeah. Let's try out the new Rapalas. How about yeah. that? Got some tungsten cutters. There you go. Nice. Right. Uh, what about you, Alex? You need any help with anything? You all right? Oh, yeah, there we go. Don, you good? Yeah. I already put the other one on there. Okay. Take Go get some gas. I will see y'all at the beach. See you at the beach. Yes, sir. All right, guys. We're going to go pick up some gas just because we're kind of running low, and then we're going to head over to the beach. I already know that once we get some gas, we're going to get some fish. Y'all just stay tuned, guys. Hopefully, we're going to reel into them. Alrighty, to the beach. <laughs> and we made it. It's way less crowded, way less populated, way less trash too. It just looks like the beach kind of cleaned itself up a little bit, just a little bit. Pompano rig tied up. Yeah, nice. Yeah. That's 
perfect, man. Hey, babe, I'm over here. Just be careful. What's up, brother man? Well, I was doing a little bit of seashell hunting. That one's pretty nice. A whole, whole lot of cool shells washed up on the beach. Nem, almost perfect. Wow. struggling to rig up some fish bites. This right here is a crab, I believe, and I'm gonna throw a shrimp one down there. Wish us luck, guys. He didn't even eat the minnow. Nice. My boy Alex hooked into a little gaff top. That's crazy. He didn't even get the minnow, he just got the hook. I know. The rig works. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Alex got the skunk off our back, bro. Let's go. Y'all want that or? That's a good one. Uh, you can keep you can keep them at, at any size. So like you could keep it if you wanted. Hey, man, man. No, don't, <laughs> don't let him get thin. Don't let him get thin. Those are poison. If we catch another, we start keeping them. Cause it's just one. Yeah. We gotta release the first. He gave us the monkey off our back. <laughs> ben, Ben, it's okay. Oh, you got it. Uh huh? Is that him? Yeah. <laughs> Can you just bring him over the water? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, did you get a picture? Oh, no. Uh, I get a picture yeah, yeah, let me get a picture. Oh, that one! Wait! Is that a fish? GoPro, start recording. It's a fish! I got a red drum! Let's go! Woohoo! Nice! Hey, wait, let's get a double up picture real quick! Hey, we both got some fish, brother! The double up! I'm gonna release the drum. Back where you came from, Mr. Drum. You gotta grab him by the sides here, like that. Pinch him by the side. Like that. Like this. Ben. You wanna you wanna grab him and release him you want me to throw him back? Yeah, you can release him. Alright, bet. Well bam, <laughs> into the wave. Get out of here, fool. Alright, Don's next. Hey bro, they biting bro. So guess what? I used the artificial bro. No way. I'm using artificial. Dude, that was so cool. <laughs> bro, that's what I'm telling you, bro. It wasn't the bait, bro. It it was just the time. It was just the the, the setting. That was a pretty small drum as opposed to what we've seen already. And I know that these waters hold even bigger, so we're definitely gonna go for it. Dude, I don't even remember what I was gonna do. That was so cool. Alrighty, we got the rod set up, and hopefully we get more action. I just got another massive bite off camera. I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling at this point because the double up, third massive bite, and as you can see, dude, it is getting tapped up like crazy. It's just a goal for us to get them to commit to it. The weather has them feeling spicy. have a fish on. Oh, I thought we had a fish there. We're just gonna keep trying guys. Well I got something big on I think. Oh shit it's fighting. Emily? What is that? Is it a big catfish? All right, hold on. I got him up to the surf now. What is that? Dude, that's something big. Is it a flounder? Did I catch a flounder? No, 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 no. That's a drum. I got a big drum. No. Emily, no. Holy cow. Holy cow. I need to measure him. 
I need to find out if he's a keeper. Careful, careful, careful. I'm, I'm all up in it, and he's, he's like fighting me really hard. What? Nice big black drum, dude. Yeah, I might need to for real. Watch him for me. Yep. Yo, this is sweet. That's a big drum. It's a pretty nice one. Bro, he was fighting so hard. Hold him out. Yeah, he's 14 for sure. You just buy the tail in this end. First. Boom. Look at that. We got a 15. That's a keeper. That is a keeper drum. Oh, yeah. Got us a nice one. I just need to throw him in the cooler. I'm going to put this guy directly on ice. Golly, he barely fits in there. Nice. We got old buddy in the cooler. Sweet. One keeper down. We're definitely going to have a nice catch and cook for us. Golly, man, that was so cool, guys. We finally got us a nice drum. It's a 15 inch, it's nothing crazy, but everything else I've caught has been under legal keeping limit, so that feels so good. The sun is coming out, babe. And we sit and we wait. Okay, we got something else. Oh, it came off. Dang it! Ah! Babe, look at this. No fucking way. Hey, Don. What'd you get? A 15 inch keeper black drum. See? Fought me hella hard, bro. Let's Dude, that go. thing is massive. Dara. Look at. What, what did I just say in the car? Yeah, I said, I wonder if Simon caught anything. That is so cool. That's Pretty sweet. That that caught yesterday. Yeah. What is that? That's a black drum. And it's a keeper size too, the 15 inch. Okay. Dude, we can you yeah. can take that to Stingery and they'll cook Ooh. it for you. Hell yeah, yeah, but I can take it to the Airbnb and cook it myself. Right, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go get some lemons. On the artificial too, bro. Bro, it's been fun. I literally, I heard my reel start screaming. It was like, and I was like, oh, Nice, bro. Good. Sorry, my hands are all messed up. You good? We got the shrimp, bro. Nice. Got another drum. Another little tiny guy. All right, let's put him back, hey? Stop playing around with this guy. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, I'm trying to help you. That was pretty quick. I think I got him figured out. Since we got one on the fish bites, I figured I'd switch to do some topwater fishing. Also, I've seen a few explosions around me, so I'm kind of curious how they'll take it. Start out with the chopper. Artificial, I don't, I don't have any live bait with me. Nice, bro. Yes, sir. That's it's a keeper. I'm just gonna throw this Berkeley Chopo 105 and uh, yeah, hopefully we get a fish. Alrighty, I think that about does it for this time for beach fishing. We're probably gonna come back, but I know that we're all getting hungry. So I think we're gonna take a small break. We'll recoup, shower, do whatever we gotta do and then we'll probably be heading back out here to do a bit more fishing. I'm really stoked though, guys. I'm glad I at least got that one fish and we're gonna have a catch and cook regardless, so mission success. Isn't that right, Ben Ben? Let's grab my fish. What? One fish secured. All right, we got all freshened up. We're on our way to Stingarees. Pretty sweet little dining spot. It's got a whole little cafe, marina, bar, all that good stuff, and it's got really good seafood. If you have anything that you've caught, you're more than welcome to bring it here. They will do your catch and cook for you. And I've heard it's delicious. I've never done it. I could have brought the fish I caught earlier, but I kind of decided that I wanted to do that for the channel. And I think you guys will appreciate that as well. 
Well, uh, apparently the whole pull-in front parking area is flooded. I guess whenever high tide pulls up, it just floods. Yeah, this is nuts. I think this is the highest it's ever been. Well, that's the boat ramp right there. It's completely flooded. I've genuinely never seen the water up this high. I could probably fish it. Look at that. And then the restaurant's right there. Little Cafe Marina. All right, we're back at good old Stingery. Stingery. Stingari. Man, that hit the spot. Stingery, guys. You ain't been there? Check it out. My boys put me on. What do you think of that, Nem? Yeah? You like a stingery? Sweet. Well, the car is to the left here. We got to cross this massive puddle, guys. So I'm going to put the camera down, make sure we get home safe because I got to do some driving. And I will see y'all in a bit. All right, guys. We're about to do some night fishing, and I can't wait. Well, we made it to the beach. Time to do some night fishing. I'm going to rig up probably get one of these little fish bites out right here if you're wondering what my favorite color is it's the electric chicken this is the stuff right here shrimp always work wish us luck guys i'll keep y'all updated if we catch any fish all right guys we're back at the crib if you're wondering if we caught any fish on our night adventures don ended up catching a small catfish unfortunately I didn't pull out my camera quickly enough before it was time for us to head out, but it was a good little catfish and it was definitely worth our time and effort. We're gonna go back out tomorrow morning and hopefully we can catch some more fish. All right, first things first. We're gonna need this guy right here. No, I'm just kidding. Alrighty, got the fillet knife. All right, I got the fillets all done. Went ahead and labeled them, stuck them in the fridge. As soon as we get home, I'm gonna be making a catch and cook for you guys. I used the scrap parts as bait. This is the ticket right here. Fish bites, shrimp, chartreuse. Probably my hands still smell like fish. After all the fishing, food, fun, and the wind, it kind of made me really tired. I think I'm going to hit the hay. That does it for day three. We'll see y'all in the morning. All right, guys, it's the final morning of our last day. We're going ahead and packing everything up, getting the Jeep loaded, and then we're going to go do some more beach fishing. I stayed up a bit late last night processing the fish. It's approximately 8.08 .08 right now. All in all, it's been a pretty great trip. I know the weather hasn't worked out for us the best, but there's not really much we can do. We can't control that. And I'm really just happy to be here. It did rain last night, so hopefully the conditions are a little bit better when we go to the beach. The winds died down, the storm seems like it's passed. Hopefully the weather's just gonna kinda clear over and we can have some good fishing conditions. Either way, at least it's not windy. Something that we didn't check out when we first arrived was the garage. And I know y'all were probably interested in what's in there. I know I am. So, let's see. Oh, wow. Dude, Emily. Are you kidding me? Man, on the final day, we're not even using this space. The lights don't seem to be working, but this is so chill. And I bet you there is a way to make them work. Emily, <laughs> it's a whole hangout spot. And we didn't know. This gentleman has an awesome shell collection. <laughs> Kevin, I don't know, man. I don't know where you're getting this stuff. If you're a scuba diver, snorkel, whatever you do. But I'm a fan of these shells, man. Nice work. Really cool stuff. I hate that we discovered this late. We could have been in here playing darts, hanging out, relaxing, having a couple drinks. They even have a working fridge and microwave. This fridge is working. So there's power to this place. Y'all can't really see it, but this like table contraption looking thing this grate lifts up, there's a grill, underneath is a propane tank, and you have like a sit around fire indoors. Man, this place is so cool. That was cool. Well, we finally got everything packed up, Nemi. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all the help, sweetie. Mm -hmm. You're the best. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Emily. I can't blur that out yet. I don't know how to do that yet. What you doing? I don't know what you're doing. I'm looking for like a, a high five or something. Thank you. All right, guys. We're officially out of here. We put the keys in the lockbox. Now it's time to head out to the beach. Well, as you can see guys, we're headed to the beach and I'm hanging out the Jeep, probably one of my favorite pastimes. And if you're thinking, yeah, this kid's crazy, definitely, but it's fun. And we made it. <sighs> Sweet. We're gonna do some shore fishing. High tide right now, which means way more fish. I'm excited. All right, guys, I'm getting geared up. Only makes sense on the beach, right? with our sweet girl first give me one sec guys I gotta join in on that fun <laughs> noon hey. hey guys Watch out, watch out. Boom, I got gotcha. you. So I gotta get away. Oh, I love you, buddy. How fun is that? How fun is that? Boom. <laughs> All right, guys, that was fun. Now it's time to do some fishing. Alright guys, now we just wait for a bite. Like this. Going to fish. Let's go check out Don's catch. Tiny little catfish keep biting. It's all the same little fish. Yeah, little gaff tops. That's the kind of fish that Don got last night. And the water is just so dirty, it's like I feel like anywhere I fish in Texas, it's just dirty water. Doesn't matter where I go. Let me get closer to my pole holder here. Dang. They snatched my fish bites clean off. You see that fish jump right there? Fish jumping right here. In the shallow. Right in front of us. Yo, what the hell is that? Yo, what the hell is that? Yo, I just saw a huge crab. A big ass crab just hit me in the foot. Bro. Bro, I'm gonna throw my crab snare. All right, let me go get my crab snare. That was the biggest crab I've ever seen. For that exact reason, I bought this crab snare. The box kind of got humid and damp from the weather and moisture, but the contents should be just fine. Nice. One clean crab trap, some extra snares, and some dried squid, but I got something better. Let's go boys, Don's got another one. Hey, let's go. I'm like, it's just catfish right now though. Yeah, to be honest, it feels like I'm just getting a bunch of little, like, small bites. Like, if you look at my rod tip, you'll see it just like... Honestly, da -da -da. Nice catch, bro. Some of the black drum I cut up last night. I got some pieces that I'm just going to use as bait. That crab was huge, and I want to catch one, so... 
And if I catch one, I can use it in a boil, which would be awesome. Just cut that rig off right there. Just take our crab snare, tie off to the clip they provided here. All right, just a quick knot. Let's undo this twist tie right here. Display our little crab loops. And then let's just load it up with bait. Nice, just almost a perfect amount there. Take our bait trap, close it up, move these back into position, and we're good to go. Alrighty. And now we really play the waiting game with this one. Alright, we've been letting it sit for a little bit. And typically it should feel like we have weight nothing in the crab snare. Let's try again. It's so hard to throw, bro. I gotta learn. Uh, are, you, are you throwing the crab trap? Yes, yeah. What the heck? It's a snare. No, that's what you're supposed to do. You I feel it You, you feel it with meat and then it has like a real hunter. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, that's a red drum. Red drum? Yeah, that's what I caught the other oh, day. Oh, that's a baby one. Though. Yeah, baby. See, look, the tail right here is gonna start turning black. That's the eye. Oh, we. The coloration is gonna go up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get a release on him. Come with you. Well, Don's catching him today. That's a good thing. Wham! <laughs> See ya. While we let the crab snare sit, I think I'm going to do some topwater fishing. I'm going to throw around some topwater, throw my Berkeley Choppa 120. Probably one of my favorite baits. Hopefully, we can get on a fish right here. Dude. They're just popping right in front of me. I don't know if you guys are even seeing this, but it's kind of crazy. Unfortunately, nothing really took on the crab snare, so I'm gonna cut it off and tie the rig back up. Because at least we were getting bites there. First, let's throw this guy out there. Gonna move our stick in closer as well. Golly man, this current is just so strong. It keeps dragging my line all the way over. I don't know, we might just have to call it. Weather's looking pretty bad out there. I don't know how it's gonna come in. And... Dude, Don got a nice one, hold on. Let's put the pole up. Let's go! I got one. Bro, keeper <laughs> drum. That's like the same size. Oh crap. Nice 15 incher. Dang, he's lively. No, he's big. Throw that in the cooler. I'm Let's amazed go. the line held. Nice catch, Don. Got a big one. <laughs> held Don out here yeah. with his great catch. There you go. Nice. Let's hold that up. There we go. Good one right there. Yes, sir. Nice keeper, Don. Yes, sir. Nice. Well, Don got himself a keeper. Now it's time for us to get ourselves back out there. Hopefully they're biting for us. Wait, Alex just got one. <laughs> Did you just get one? A little yeah, tiny. I just, I just got one, but I'm not to throw it out because it's just a baby. Yeah, still the quiet assassin. <laughs> oh, nice. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, wrong way, buddy. And he's gone. Well, it seems like they might be biting now. This boy on his phone, gleeing. He over there teething and stuff. <laughs> nice catch. Bro. <laughs> bro, where we were the other day was completely different from where we are now. It was completely different from where we were last night. It's just like all different. different we spots. literally hit just spot, spot, spot. I mean, I like it though. It's yeah. great because then like you kind of get a feel. I mean, honestly, this is one of the first few times that we fished like straight off the shore. Oh, honestly, really? Yeah, I honestly didn't think I could catch anything like big like that. That's why I like shore fishing, bro. This is why I wanted to put y'all onto this because like you can do this and then you can like hang out with your girl. You can be hanging out with your dog. You can be on your phone. You can do whatever you the fuck you want. Yeah. You just let yeah, that Especially if you have a sand spike. That's bro, my thing. I think there might be a fish onto this. 
Is there a fish on that? Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> a little red. Got us a little red fish. Ah. Wrong way, buddy. All right, let's get back out there. Later, brother. My boys Don and Alex just left, but I'm only gonna throw a few more casts before I get out of here myself, and I'll just see them back in our hometown. Honestly, it was a great trip overall. We had a blast, even though the weather did not work out for us. We both got a keeper to take home, and I think we're both kind of happy about that. I appreciate everyone for watching this video. Thanks for thanks for clicking on it. Leave a like. To, oh golly, we have a fish. Nim! 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 It's huge! Oh my gosh! We got a massive black drum! We got a massive black drum! We got another one! Oh my gosh, it's bigger than the last! We got it! Nice. We did! Oh my goodness gracious! They missed it! Golly! Ah. Dude! What a brute. What a freaking brute, mate. He's gonna try and chop my finger down. Ah, calm down. Okay, um, let me go grab my lip grips, honestly. Dude, it's so strong. Dude, that's my PB drum. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, dude. Nice, we got another keeper black drum. Right here next to the Jeep. Sweet, dude. I'm definitely gonna take this one and fillet it up as well. Well guys, the GoPro died. I'm gonna take a quick measurement here. It's almost a 20 inch black drum. Holy cow, 21 inch black drum. Swiped it. No, probably 20. Maybe 19 and a half, 20 if I'm being a YouTuber. But, <laughs> holy cow. Nice fish. I can't even get the whole thing in the frame. He put up a great fight, but he's gonna put up an even better meal. Anyways, let's get this guy on ice. All right, straight to the cooler. Let's see what Bentley thinks. Is that yummy? Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I was trying to say thank you guys for watching the video, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and we got slammed. So forget the outro. This has been a great trip. Y'all already seen it. Y'all know what's going on. Well, I was not expecting that catch, but because it happened, I immediately got to go put this guy on ice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps it up for us for this adventure. It's the final day, and we said that we would stay and fish till noon. It's actually one o'clock, but I'm glad we stayed because we ended up getting one of the biggest black drums of our life. Hopefully next time we come back, we can end up topping it with something crazy, but for this one, I'm pretty satisfied. I can't wait to go home and try some of this fish. One really cool thing about Crystal Beach is every single gas station you walk inside, there's always gonna be fishing gear, so I don't know, that's kinda cool. Got a bag of ice to fill up the coolers. Let's go ahead and put some ice on him. Well, we had to make one more stop to our favorite place, <laughs> Pizza Forno. All right, pizza number one. We got pizza number two. All right, we got both pizzas. We finna chow down like some Ninja Turtles. All 
All right, well, we just stopped at our last rest stop on our way home. I love these places, man. One of my favorite things to do on these road trips is whenever we stop at these rest stops just to be here and like check it out, see what kind of different stuff they have, stuff that we don't normally see. Most of the rest stops that we come across tend to be in nature and stuff like that. So they're always like beautiful, scenic, isolated, nice, peaceful, quiet. Boom, one fish on ice. Well, kind of icy. We better get him out of there and start cooking him. Literally was swimming around in the ocean and now it's here in the middle of Texas. That's crazy. Okay, got it all labeled and it's pretty clean meat if I say so myself. Just to show y'all a quick difference, the yield from that one fish to this one. Mind you, this has some water in it. It's frozen and expanded. This has just now been filleted way more meat. This 20 inch drum seems like it had way more blood as opposed to this younger drum seems like the meat's a lot more clean. So I don't know, we'll see. I threw some lump charcoal in the Weber kettle, got it all cooked up, ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and spread it all out. I'll throw the grill on as well just to preheat it and then we'll get the meats on. So first step, I'm just gonna go ahead and take them all out of the bag and then pat them dry. Just because I think that they cook a lot better and I think it helps the seasoning kind of stick a lot better as well. And I don't really like doing an egg wash on my fish. You can if you want. I just personally don't like it as much. so. I think I'm gonna opt to not do it this time. I really just wanna taste the flavor of the fish. So again, just pat those dry. All right, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and throw them in the batter slash seasoning. And it comes pre-seasoned, but if you want, you could throw something else in there. You could throw Lowry's, um, you could throw Tony's, you could throw pretty much anything that you want in there, Louisiana's, whatever. This is Louisiana fish fry seasoning, so I think it's already got it in there. And then we're just gonna drop these little guys in. You don't want to walk away because they're going to cook right in front of you. All right, boom, that's the final product. We got us a whole bunch of little filet bites. Already had one and it's delicious. We got us our baked potato, some side of jalapeno quail poppers, and then we each got a little hot dog with a potato roll. Let's see what Bentley thinks. <laughs> yep, the lick of approval. Well, there we have it, folks. Hot dog, quail poppers, baked potato, corn, and then we got our fried fish in the middle. I ended up giving the 21 intro to my mom and I think she's gonna end up cooking something nice out of it. So I hope she enjoys it. Anyways, I know I'm definitely gonna enjoy this. This looks delicious. I'm gonna throw some ketchup and mustard on my dog. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna dig in. Oh, and if you're wondering how the fish turned out, it's perfect. Cleanest meat I've ever had. It's delicious and it literally tastes like it just came out of the ocean yesterday. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning into this one. I really enjoyed making this episode. And it's delicious. So. I get to have a meal out of it in the end. Y'all make sure y'all stay watching, guys. I'm going to sit back and enjoy a little TV show with my sweet girl. That's my record PB. It ended up being almost 21 inches. It was a 20-inch drum. All in all, guys, it ended up being a successful adventure, so I can't really complain. I mean, it's always a success when you're in nature anyways, right, guys? Thanks for watching this one. I'm out of here.